Hello and welcome to a new video about measurement. Pressure measurement we are talking about. Today we are talking about pressure gauges. Huh? These are mechanical sensors. Huh? So pressure gauges, mechanical sensors for indicating pressure. Basically, there are two different types. Yeah, both work with some elastic deformation of a of an element. Huh? One of those elements is the so-called uh, Bourdon tube. Yeah. So we have a Bourdon tube measurement. In German we call it Rohr Federmanometer. Uh, it was invented by Eugene Bourdon, a French watchmaker engineer. Yeah. So actually it is working exactly like like those uh, party whistles, these this party horns, you know, with this where they extend when you they are rotated like a snail and if you blow in they will extend. And this is exactly how such Bourdon tube is working or such Roa feeder. Uh, usually we have somewhere somewhere a connector. Huh? Then we have this tube, which is formed in a special way. Like I said, almost like those party horns, but not exactly. Huh? So this is this, this Rohr feeder, this is Bourdon. Mr. New Bourdon tube. Yeah? And if we apply pressure here, yeah? here, now we apply pressure. What is happening? This tube tries to stretch. Okay, so the radius of this tube is getting, this is now too much I'm drawing. Yeah? Stretch because of pressure. And because this is elastic, yeah? elastic element, the deforma it will be get deformed yeah? and it will stay stable. Right? At a certain pressure, it will the deformation will be at a certain level, and that's it. The only thing I have to do is take this deformation gain it somehow with some sort of uh, gearbox yeah? and put a pointer to it. And that's it. All right. So this Bourdon tube here is this um, elastic, elastic thing which is deformed by the pressure. And this deformation I need to indicate somehow on a scale. As you can imagine, if there is too much pressure, yeah, then these materials, there is always a, a region where those materials stay elastic and then they will get a permanent deformation. If this material is permanently deformed, this element, this gauge is gone, destroyed yeah, forever. So it's not overload safe. All right? It's quite sensitive. Uh, sensitivity is good, however, overload, it's sensitive to overload. Uh, and if you ever have a pointing element, a pressure gauge, where the pressure is already indicated, if this is not loaded at all, uh, then you know, okay, it was overloaded once and then it will stay deformed and it already shows something. And with the thickness and the form of those elements, you can easily adjust the area, right? Bourdon tube. Another possibility would be a diaphragm. Diaphragm, it's working like that, so that we have, um, that you have here a plate, 
on. Here a plate and here is the measurement area. All right, and here there is a diaphragm, which is formed in a certain way. There are different things there, yeah, different special form and so on. And with the material of this and with this special form, you can adjust the sensitivity. And if we now here apply pressure here. This diaphragm will get pushed upwards. Okay. Here we have movement because of pressure. P. And this movement. Yeah, this I need to gain. Yeah. So here, here is this movement, and here it's this movement, and this I have to indicate somehow. There's also a gearbox inside and so on. That's it. Yeah. Here I can code those those diaphragms, yeah. and I can make the the resistance to aggressive materials, to aggressive acid or whatever yeah, things quite high, all right. Uh, you see it's moving a little less uh, than this one, so the sensitivity uh, here is not that high than, than here. Yeah. Uh, however, I can make this, because what could happen? If there is a, a lot of pressure, then the diaphragm will book, have this as support, so it will not get destroyed. This you can, con can construct as overload safe, all right. So these are the two possible pressure gauges. Yeah? In both both things are mechanical stresses. Here, uh, here the downside here is sensitive sensitive to overload. And here the downside is sensitivity not that high. And the benefits are, of course, vice versa. So here, on the plus side, we have good sensitivity. And here on the plus side, we have overload protected. Not all, but usually it's the way. Pressure cautious. Huh? We have now different pressure cautious, uh, but that's not the only way of how we can determine a certain pressure. Huh? There's also that weight, that weight instrument. Huh? How those they're very accurate, very accurate. That weight instruments can be used to calibrate such things. Yeah? How that weight instrument, that weight pressure instrument is working, I'm going to explain in the next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.